Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ellie Snake Lady and today I'm going to be um, doing a weighing video. So it's going to be like a health check update uh, with my female corn snakes that are carrying eggs at the moment. So that's Athene and Apollonia. And then I will be um, just weighing Artemis to see where she is with her weight because she's still growing because uh, she's obviously the youngest. And I'll be weighing Astraea as well just to see where she's at. So uh, without any further ado, I shall just get straight on with that. And thanks very much for watching. So first we have Athene here. So she is going to be 10 years old this year and um because i think she was born at the end of 2013 so um yeah so she is going to be 10 this year she's not laid any eggs yet and um, she is looking quite sort of chunky and she feels heavy and that's another reason why i'm going to weigh her today as well so um because i've just got a feeling if i'm wrong i'm wrong but I just have a feeling she's been quite active and been up at the window, but only in the past week or so, maybe 10 days. So yeah, so she's been moving her little box hide around and um, all the rest of it. And I think what I'm going to do is just to prepare her because she's obviously still got to do her pre-lay shed and Apollonia still has to do that as well. But um, so, yeah, so I've, um, as I say, I've got, oh, where is it now? I think I've put it back. No, I haven't. <laughs> so I've got this hide the one with the hole in the top and what I'm going to do with that is put some put some of this moss in that I've got so I'm, I'm going to wet that and um, put that in the hide I've just shown you so that she's got somewhere comfortable to go and she can lay her eggs you know these aren't um, fertilized eggs as it were you know she's not been with any males so um they will just be stud eggs or you know infertile eggs pretty much what a chicken lays um so yeah they'll just be what's called slug eggs and um so whether she'll guard them with their life like apollonia did when she first laid some eggs because that's what she did on the first year she didn't want me taking them out last year she wasn't so bothered but um yeah so anyway i'm just going to get on and weigh her and see sort of where she's at see if she's gained or lost any weight and um yeah so we'll just go from there right so that's set to zero grams at the moment i'm just gonna attempt to see whether she'll actually go in okay so she's in there now and her weight is 652 so i'm gonna have to compare that from um three months ago um i can't remember what she was but i'll put the weight up on the screen and show you the difference but yeah so that's her i think she's gained some weight you know i think i've got a feeling she was something like 614 and now she's uh, 652 as i say that was three months ago so um yeah there she is such a cute girl but yeah so anyway that's her for now and that's the heaviest that she's been so far so Athene was at 614 grams and now she's at 652 so she's definitely put on weight um, I have actually been feeding her an extra mouse so I normally feed them a medium mouse every two weeks but I've just fed her an extra mouse like you know basically a mouse every week um, and I tried to give her some of the larger mice as well because as I learned with Apollonia they can lose a lot of weight these females whether the eggs are fertilized or not you know the uh, snakes the female snakes will lose a lot of weight so um, yeah she's looking all right I've, I've checked her body over and as you know before I did struggle that whole scale rot thing but that's all under control and um, so she's looking good and she has actually been looking for a, a male she can probably smell a scleptic and Cadassius and uh, yet again she's doing what Apollonia did when she first laid eggs just going around trying to look for a male and look for somewhere to uh, sort of lay her eggs so she still needs to do her pre-lay shed so she's not even gone into blue yet um, Athene so I'm not really expecting any eggs for at least like four weeks from now um, so what's today is it 20 yeah it's the 24th today of april uh monday and um yeah so 
I'm guessing sort of by May time she'll lay her eggs because yet again that's what Apollonia did it was about May time when she first laid some eggs so I would be very shocked if she doesn't have eggs inside her I would be so so shocked but um, as I do with all my snakes whether they're carrying eggs or not or gravid as it were I just check in her body over just make sure she's okay there she is <laughs> trying to hide so yeah i'm just checking her body and her belly does look a bit round um so she's um you know as i say i think she's got eggs i think she has let me just check you a bit there where you had that scale rot as you can see that's not on there anymore there we go i know so undignified <laughs> But yeah, she's doing good and um, she's eating. So I think today I fed her last week on Monday. So I've handled her now. So I'll probably leave it till tomorrow to give her another feed. And then, as I say, just each week until she actually refuses. Because obviously female corn snakes or any female snakes uh, refuse to eat just before they lay eggs. That's just what they do. Um, it's probably something to do with having all the eggs inside them and it's probably, you know, I don't imagine they'd have much of an appetite. They just want to get on and lay their eggs and then they will absolutely eat anything and everything. So anyway, I'm going to put Athene back and uh, yes, yeah, so she's doing really good at the moment and uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with her. So there we go. And now I have little Apollonia here with me and she is actually in blue and she's doing those little jerky movements as well. But yeah, she's a bit crazy. <laughs> so as I've said before, she is, um, she's actually younger than Athene. She's uh, just turned nine years old and this will be her third um, like season of laying eggs and stuff. And yet again, I've been giving her a mouse, an extra mouse, you know, each week, just feeding her a larger mouse and whatnot, uh, compared to the normal every two weeks. She's actually been sleeping quite a lot on her heat mat as well. So she is quite warm at the moment. I put those grassy tube hide thingies at the back on the heat mat and that's where she's been. And so she has sort of been looking for a place to lay eggs and, you know, looking for a mate because that is what the females do nearer the time. But she's been more quieter because as you can see, sorry she's jerking so much, but that's, as I say, it's what they do. Um, but her eyes are cloudy and, uh, but her body's, you know, her body's looking good. It's sort of looking thicker because there's eggs in there and stuff. So I'm just checking her all over. Her scales look fine. So she's actually in the pre-lay shed mode, unlike Athene. And um, yeah, so once she's shed her skin, I imagine she'll then look for a place to want to put her eggs or, you know, to lay her eggs and stuff. So, um, and she probably won't eat, I imagine. Um, she might eat this week, but possibly next week, you know, maybe once she shed her skin, she won't bother. She'll just go all quiet and want to lay her eggs and then she'll eat after that. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get on and weigh her and see where she's at. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the um, scales on zero and I'm just going to pop Apollonia in, although she's, um, there we go, in you get Mrs, in you get, that's it. Right, so now I've got her weigh and she's obviously because she's moving about and stuff, it's hovering, but um, she weighs 582 grams. Last time she weighed 514 grams. So she's definitely put on some weight and there are definitely some eggs in there. So uh, there we go, Missy, you can come out now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to get her out and uh, yeah, she's doing good. With Apollonia, um, she was actually at, I'm um, just checking, yeah, she was actually at 514 grams um, three months ago when I weighed her and now she's at 582 uh, 81 it's hovering between so I definitely think she's uh, got well she's will have eggs in there she's laid eggs for the past two years so and the way she's jerking and moving about and stuff she she'll be I think she'll be ready to lay sooner than what Athene will be so I think um, with Apollonia it'll probably be in the next few weeks um, but Athene might be a bit longer she's she's doing all right yet again I'm checking her over checking her scales and everything and um, you know, just making sure there's nothing 
going on we don't want any more scale rot situations so as you can see her tummy is good it's looking round like um, Athene's is so uh, yeah there's definite signs of eggs in there and I don't know at some point you know I may breed snakes but for now I think I'm just happy with the ones that I've got and um, I'm just you know getting everything ready for her for laying eggs as I showed you before that I can't reach you now but the hide with the hole in the top I'm going to put some of that uh, moss in there obviously dampen the moss and then put it in there just so she's got um <laughs> just so she's got somewhere comfortable to lay her eggs as I've said before you know they're not fertilized eggs they're just like slug eggs but I just want her to have somewhere comfortable you know to lay them the same as Athene so their weights have definitely gone up um, Athene's weight has for sure so and that's not me overfeeding her because I've just fed her the same all the way along and now she's suddenly putting on a lot of weight so uh, fingers crossed for a good lot of eggs and a you know a good lay from uh, these two girls anyway so now I have little Artemis here with me she's very squiggly she feels a bit cold actually so I'm glad I'm holding her because at least she can sort of warm up on me I mean she has got heat man and stuff but she's just not going on it so anyway so yeah so this little girl she is turning two this year and um, I'm I've just literally upped her onto small mice so she's on that at the moment um, I'm reckoning she's put on weight she definitely looks like she's got bigger um, and all the rest of it and she won't be having any eggs for quite a few years yet I mean she could surprise me she you know in three years time she could be laying eggs and stuff but um, for now she's just happy milling about being like the equivalent of a teenager <laughs> and yeah she is a bit stroppy at times but you can see she's got bigger and her body's got bigger and you know you can see her tummy I'm just sort of checking her scales and that first so just always make sure that she gets all the shed skin off and whatnot so um yeah so she's uh, doing pretty good so what i'll do is just get on and uh, weigh her but yeah just to say i am feeding her small mice now every 14 days so uh, yeah let's get on with the weighing so we've got that set to zero and we'll just put this little girl in there we go put the lid down <laughs> she's crazy okay and she is at 98 grams and last time I weighed her she was at 79 so now she's at 98 uh, that's great she's gained some weight and uh, yeah that's perfect and uh, yeah she's a bit flighty still but to be honest the sclepion's the same still so uh, yeah I'll just get her out yeah, so she's gained some weight um which is great as i say i'll just put it up on the screen so you can see the difference but um, she's put on nearly 20 uh, grams so that's really good and as i say i've upped her onto small mice now she's looking great and um she is inquisitive and she does come up to the glass she does sometimes lay out in the open as well but as I say, these anneries seem to be quite flighty. Not all of them, but I've noticed the difference between the anneries and the albinos and stuff. And the albinos seem that tiny bit calmer. But um, I don't know, that's just my experience with my snakes. But um, yeah, she's looking really good. And um, yeah, I'm really pleased she's shedding her skin great as well. So uh, yeah, so that's it for little Artemis. <laughs> So now I have little Astraea here with me, who has been a bit of a bugger to get out the tank, but uh, here she is. So, as I said before, just looking at her scales on her tummy all over, um, just check the vent, that's fine. Check her tail, which looks fine. All the shed has come off. I've just seen a tiny little bit in her tank uh, after she shed, because they always leave a couple of little bits here and there, but, um, yeah, so she shed perfectly fine. Um, as for this girl breeding, I need to look into king snakes a bit more. Um, I'm guessing they would lay eggs four or five years plus, but I will uh, get back to you with that. So where she's concerned, I'm not sure sort of where she'll be at with eggs. She could be 10 years old before she lays any eggs, the same as Athene, but um, 
you know it's I don't know we'll just see what happens I just sort of take it each year at a time and uh, see what happens so um, yeah she's doing pretty good she's always feisty with her food she's never missed a meal anyway so let's get on and weigh her and see where she's at okay so we've got that set at zero let's try and put this little girl in if she'll go she might not so she is at 434 grams and she was uh she was at 435 oh so she's pretty much stayed the same if anything she's lost a gram um i'm just making sure i'm reading that right but uh, i think that's an average weight anyway for her she's uh she's turning four this year so um we'll just sort of see where we go from there always mooching about and quite active so anyway right i'll get her out so i forgot to mention this little girl is actually going to be four years old this year so um yeah as i say she's pretty much reached sort of the age where she should be able to breed um, i'm not going to breed her but um she's at that age so as i say eggs may come along at some point but we just take it a year at a time and see what happens so she's actually lost a gram that is it um i'm just going to double check on the king snake you know the average weight that they should be and um, if she's not at that then i will give her an extra mouse or whatever but um i don't think 434 grams is a bad thing so uh yeah she's hardly changed and um you know where her weight's concerned but i say she's still active and likes to explore and look around and one thing and another and uh yeah she's uh yeah she's gorgeous gorgeous girl so i'm so pleased i've got her and um i just can't believe how big she is now she was like a little tiny shoelace when i got her but she's uh yeah she's doing good so yeah that's australia for you okay so the other day i forgot to film an actual outro to this video but uh yeah i'm looking forward to seeing athene and apollonia um laying their eggs and stuff as i say with athene it's more than likely she has eggs inside her but i'm not 100 percent sure um i mean the only way you can really tell is if like you know you've got an x-ray of her sort of thing but um anyway so i'm waiting to see what happens with them and as i said before artemis is doing good um she's on small mice now every two weeks so that's her food sorted and um yeah and australia every two weeks a medium mouse so um i might feed her a little bit more um because apparently she should weigh a little bit more than where she's at but other than that she seems to be doing quite well so um yeah so that's it for now so if you did enjoy this video then please like and subscribe and when you do subscribe please hit that bell notification and click all so you get notifications of all my latest videos and if you've got any comments or questions or anything like that then just pop them in the comment section below and i'll do my best to answer but for now from myself and my girly snakies it is goodbye and we'll see you in my next video thanks very much for watching